When it was released at the beginning of 2020, the Hublot Big Bang Integral was a line in the sand. It spelled the dawn of a new age of the Big Bang, where the watch could wear you, not the other way around. Before we get too far into things, don't forget to like this video and subscribe to the Time and Tide channel if you like what we're doing with it. If you already are, thank you. The Hublot Big Bang Integral continued down the path of being ruthlessly contemporary, but it broadened the scope of its design to include a seamlessly structured bracelet that looks so natural it's hard to imagine it on anything else. With the expanded range of the Integral this year, we have to ask the questions. What does it offer the Hublot catalogue? And how does it hold up to a close inspection? Measuring a relatively mid-sized 42mm in diameter, it's a watch that is more than approachable on paper. But don't underestimate it. As you'd expect from an integrated case and bracelet, it wears slightly larger than the numbers suggest, with the brilliant hue of the king gold delivering even more presence on the wrist. Despite its undeniable presence, the Hublot Big Bang Integral in King Gold only measures 13.45mm in thickness, which is actually fairly typical for a modern chronograph. Things of course go to a dramatic next level when you wear it on your wrist. If you're a close follower of Time and Tide, you might have seen it on Andrew McCutcheon's wrist recently at the Australian Open. The feedback in his own words was, it's a watch that can wear you if you're not careful, and seated in the player's box of Serena Williams, it sparkled in the sunlight several times as the star of the show on the live broadcast. Its glimmering facets were not only impossible to ignore, but easy to recognise, as no other bracelet plays quite the same games with the light as the integral in King Gold. Whether you're inspecting the bracelet from afar or up close, the architectural design just makes sense sitting in the Big Bang collection. And while the bracelet offers a tantalising tactile experience, the exhibition case back against the back of your wrist fits comfortably too. The watch is buttery smooth to operate, with large and defined pushes to activate the chronograph as you please. Just like the pushes, the crown features a black rubber strip around it to make it even easier to grip as you unscrew it to change the date or time. You'll find the date display at 3 o'clock, subtly tucked away in the chronograph subdial, which serves up a visual feast thanks to the entire date wheel being visible around the circumference of the dial. The rubber-coated crown is a pleasure to interact with when setting the time, with minuscule tolerances in the machining of the parts, meaning the hands move with responsiveness and agility. Housed inside the proprietary material of the case is the in-house calibre HUB 1280, that is a self-winding flyback chronograph with a column wheel actuation. It boasts a modern 72 hours of power reserve and is a delight to watch in action through either the skeletonized dial or the exhibition case back. On the dial side, you'll find the subdials with running seconds at 9 o'clock and a 60 minute chronograph counter at 3 o'clock. The evenly brushed finishing of the movement gives off a sense of no-nonsense industrial reliability, which actually focuses you more on the moving parts of the movement than the rotor or bridges. All in all, the Hublot Big Bang Integral in King Gold is a watch that shouldn't be trifled with. The blend of an ultra-modern, skeletonized dial and a case and bracelet that seem to have their own gravitational pull, it's a watch that demands to be seen. So if you're looking for a watch that makes a bold statement as well as a top-notch movement within, this is a watch that needs to be on your radar. The Hublot Big Bang Integral in King Gold is $73,200 Australian dollars and is currently available. Thanks for watching and let us know in the comments below what you think of this development in the Big Bang collection. Until next time.